So one of the most gruesome deaths in the entire Baver saga has to be Ironhide's. It was not only unexpected, but also deeply horrifying. He literally had to watch himself slowly fall apart and die, fully aware that nobody could save him, and anyone who tried would inevitably meet the same tragic fate as his. Now, Ironhide wasn't originally supposed to be the only one to suffer this tragic fate, since in the movie adaptation comic and novelization of the film, which both used earlier drafts of Dark of the Moon's script to tell their stories, the Autobot twins, Skids, and Mudflap were also going to have this gruesome fate. You see, after Sentinel Prime gunned down Ironhide, he pointed his weapon towards Bumblebee, who was frozen in disbelief. Noticing this, Skids leaped into the air in order to save Bumblebee, taking the full force of the blast, where he soon after crumbled into dust. After seeing his twin die, Mudflap went into a rage, and charged at Sentinel, but he was no match for the Prime and was easily gunned down by his Rust Cannon. Now, another character who would have fallen victim to the Rust Cannon was its creator, Sentinel Prime. You see, in the original ending for the film, Megatron and Optimus teamed up in order to take down Sentinel, with Optimus ultimately delivering the killing blow using Sentinel's own Rust Cannon. So, considering that even its creator could be taken out by his very own weapon, nobody could stand a chance against it, right? Well, you guys already saw the title and thumbnail of this video, Sideswipe was able to tank a shot from the Rust Cannon and live with no damage at all. Now, I can already hear some of you guys saying that this is just some dumb movie mistake and there's nothing more to it. However, it's not, and it makes total and complete sense, to the point that I have to tip off my hat to the creative team who came up with this detail. Now, if I sound crazy, I assure you that I'm not. Just stick around with me for the next three minutes so I can explain to you guys how Sideswipe was able to cheat death in Transformers Dark of the Moon. What is the meaning of this? I hereby discharge you from duty. Alright, so the first thing that we need to understand is how the cannon works. The common consensus is that it just shoots cosmic rust, which is able to rapidly corrode Cybertronian metals. However, there's more to this weapon than meets the eye, since the cosmic rust cannon when fired also shoots off an explosive projectile that is capable of setting its target on fire. This can explain why Ironhide was shortly set ablaze after he was shot, in addition to this tree that Sentinel hits. Now something to take note of is that the Cosmic Rust Cannon is not capable of fully dissolving a Transformer, depending on their alternate mode. This can be proven when we take a look at Ironhide's death. As we can see, his entire body dissolves besides his tires. That's because his tires are made out of rubber and not metal. Now you might be wondering, how is that possible? Well, based on everything that we know about Cybertronian anatomy according to the Bayverse, before a Transformer scans their vehicle, they are primarily made out of a metal unique to them called Transformium. However, when they go on to scan their disguise, the chemical composition of their Transformium alters to imitate the different compositions of their disguise. This can explain why windows on Transformers can be cracked or shattered, and why their tires can produce skid marks, bounce, and of course be immune to rust. So then, with all that said, how does this apply to Sideswipe? Well, if it wasn't for his vehicle mode, he would be dead. You see, Sideswipe's alternate mode in Dark of the Moon was a 2010 Corvette Stingray Speedster concept and it was the exact same vehicle as his Revenge of the Fallen alternate mode, albeit with a handful of brand new modifications. Though the chassis structure of the vehicle is a production C6, the entire body of the vehicle was made out of fiberglass. This was done due to the ease of working with the material, since it can be molded and shaped relatively easily, which is advantageous when creating unique and eye-catching designs for concept vehicles. Now, the reason why this is important for Sideswipe is because fiberglass physically cannot rust. This is because it is a composite material made primarily of glass fibers and resin. Now, if we take a look at the scene where Sideswipe gets hit by the rust cannon, we can see that it only hits his right door. And since the door on the car that he scanned was made out of fiberglass, the transformium on that part of his body was altered to imitate the composition and with no iron or steel to rust away, the only effect the Cosmic Rust Cannon would have was to send Sideswipe flying back. 
allowing him to escape a pretty terrible fate. Now, the last thing I want to mention is that this doesn't mean that Sideswipe is 100% immune to cosmic rust. Since any part of his body that did not imitate the properties of fiberglass would still be able to be destroyed by Sentinel's rust cannon. And it's crazy to think that if it wasn't for Sideswipe turning the way he did, our boy would have quite literally bit the dust.